Hi guys. So in my last video, I said this. This is my mind, and then this is my mind after drugs, you know, that's basically the situation. One of you guys asked me to do a video about my experiences with psychedelics, and I'm hesitant because I know that it's something that's probably gonna get me demonetized, my family might see it, who knows. But to be honest with you, I wanna talk about it, it's important to me, and it's real, so I'm gonna talk to you about it. I've got my laptop here, I'll try not to ramble, and I'll put timestamps in the description um, if you wanna click to a certain part. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it succinct and clear and to the point. Also, I beat my face for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. So, hi, my name is Rachel and um, I've done some psychedelics in my life. I've done psychedelics a fair amount of times, like enough times that I have a solid um, experience base to kind of draw from to talk about. So with that being said, today I'm going to tell you about the time when I tripped absolute balls on three grams of magic mushrooms on my own in my bedroom. So I have a clip of me um, when I was tripping. I have a video of it. It's more so like the come up than the actual proper main body of the trip. And there's a load of stuff I'm not going to cover in this video, like factual things about shrooms that you can just go and research on your own. And I want to also say in the beginning, sorry for all the disclaimers, but it's important to like be clear about stuff like this because it's not a joke and um, psychedelics are not like ecstasy or a party drug it's a bit more of an experience and it affects you more as a person than just like getting smashed i want to tell you about what i experienced and what i learnt about myself during that particular trip there are other trips i can tell you about and other things like acid for example but i'm not going to talk about that in this video this one is particularly about magic mushrooms and the active ingredient is psilocybin it's not the same as lsd those two are different drugs i've done both and they're very different if you want a video about acid you can let me know and i'll see if i can do that with psychedelics um, um, particularly with magic mushrooms it's one of those things people will mention it and they say oh um, I'm gonna do shrooms or I've done shrooms and you hear it and you think oh my god magic mushrooms that's a drug I would never do that's the kind of drug that turns you crazy that's the sort of drug where people do it and then they like see dragons and the floor turns pink and they don't know who they are when they're off it and everything that's obviously not the case however it is a big thing, it's not nothing. Um, it's not necessarily everything, it's different for everyone. For me, it was a, th a thing in my life and it definitely made a difference on who I am as a person. I just wanna say to you, if you're considering doing magic mushrooms, it's got to be your decision and you've gotta be doing it for yourself and for the right reasons. Nobody can tell you that you're ready or it's okay for you to do shrooms, you've gotta decide on your own. However, one thing that I will say is when you go online and Google, what's it like to trip on magic mushrooms, you'll read a whole load of stuff and when you read it you'll imagine it in your head and it will look like Alice in Wonderland you know it will look like insane like everything is multicolored and everything's spinning and it's crazy depending on the amount you do will will affect the strength of your experience what I'm saying is what you read online is don't take that as Bible so do it by your own choice but also do it knowing that it's not going to be how you think it's going to be I was at home in my bedroom and I did three grams of magic mushrooms. I don't know what strain they were. What I'm gonna do now is just chuck in the clip of me when I was coming up and then I'll talk to you about how I felt while that was going on afterwards. It's a bit embarrassing, try not to judge me. I was really fucking high. So I've taken some magic mushrooms. This is my first time um, ever like doing enough magic mushrooms to like feel something. Um, and I am like, <laughs> my eyes holy fuck just like the fact that I have eyes and look how pretty they are Hi, Editing Rach here. I just want to jump in and say that what you just watched was very much the come up. It wasn't when I was up up like on the shrooms an hour later um, was when I started feeling the things I'm gonna tell you about now. So just bear in mind what I'm telling you about in a minute is not what I was feeling when I filmed that footage. Annoyingly, I didn't film any more footage, otherwise I would have that. Although to be honest, I probably wouldn't show you it because that would have been a bit nuts. <laughs> Yep, um, that was what was going on for me. You can see in that video um, that I just showed you, my pupils are really small still. They hadn't got very big. I think partially it's because the light was coming in the window from my bedroom. Also, I think it was because I was still on the way up. I was just like realizing that I was feeling something. And that's the first thing that I wanna say. So when I, when I first took the shrooms, I didn't take the whole three grams all at once. I ate um, like one little shroom and then I was like, oh, I'm not gonna feel anything from that. So then I ate the rest of the one gram bag I, I left it about 20 minutes and I just felt 
this is like a rookie mistake by the way I left it about 20 minutes and I felt the same and I was like ah oh, this is rubbish someone's giving me dud shrooms like basically I just did the stupidest thing you can do which is I took it I thought nothing was happening so I took more and then it all hit me at once I then went on to have another gram and then another gram so when I started to come up, the first thing I noticed was everything started to look really real and really clear and visual. I would look around my room and I would see something like, for example, I would see this chunk of amethyst. I remember looking at it and being like, whoa, and suddenly it's like you couldn't see before and now you can see. So like everything that you're looking at looks much more kind of clear. It's not like suddenly everything is colourful and like falling apart and splitting and melting and that can happen if you do more a lot more but for me everything started to look insanely crisp and clear that was the first thing that I noticed then I started to feel my body with various drugs you get a physical high a mental high and um, whatever but the physical high in the shrooms I did was 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 there I started to feel soft like my body was getting really soft and squishy and everything felt like it was really flowy and every movement felt like it was more and more difficult to do but equally it was easier to do like my body was relaxed and um, soft but also it was harder to physically move it but not like in a oh my god I can't move not like when you get in a k-hole it wasn't like that I'm, I'm so gonna get demonetized <laughs> but it was just it's just um, an interesting physical kind of hype and then um, I started to get all of these thoughts so <laughs> I, I was looking at my own face and I was like, wow, I can't believe that that's my face. <laughs> like I was blinking my eyes and like opening my mouth and like moving my face around. And I, and I suddenly realized that I had this connection to this, this physical thing, this like body that I've got. It was like, I suddenly became um, really aware that I was, I was using this tool. It wasn't like I belong to this body and this is what I physically am. It was like, oh, I am in this thing. There was a separation between my consciousness and my physical body. And then when that happened, I looked down at my body. I looked down at my stomach like that. I, obviously I'm overweight. I was more overweight at the time. I've lost about 40 pounds since then or about three stone. Um, but I looked down at my stomach and I suddenly realized that this stomach that I had was like fat, it was like a lump of fat and it was on my body. And I suddenly realized that I didn't need it. I was looking down at my, my stomach and I was like, oh, that's like stores for the future for when I, there's a famine or something. And then I, I was like, I don't need that. I suddenly realized that I was carrying around all of this stuff that I didn't need. It was very odd. And then, um, obviously I showed you in my last video, I was, I got really high and I was really shaking. I didn't want to sit still doing nothing because, you know, I was on my own in my bedroom and I had a really small bedroom. Upon reflection, I ought to have had a trip sitter and I ought to have done it in a, in a different place. Well, my room was okay, but it was very small. I needed to do something with my hands so I started drawing so this is what I drew um, and it's obviously just a colourful thing when I was really tripping I started experiencing all these crazy emotions of like self-love um, and a physical shaky high all at once so I started drawing this um, and around this is where I started and I was drawing and I wrote in here I'm not sure if you can read it but it says I'm beautiful I make beauty and I was sort of tripping balls so I was I was I was shaking so my hands were physically shaking um but I was like overwhelmed with this emotion of like self-love and affirmation for my own self which was something that I'd never had before I've always struggled with um self-esteem issues and thinking that I was rubbish you know and when I was on shrooms it was like I opened the door to self-love I suddenly realized that the um that all of the self-love that I ought to have been giving myself and self-validation, I realised that it wasn't coming out. I suddenly started feeling all of this like self-love, um, which sounds really weird and like hippie woo-woo bullshit, but that's what I started feeling. I started to draw this thing and as I was drawing it, it took me absolutely ages, but I wrote that and then at the bottom I wrote, you're so strong, look what you did, kid. The way that it felt to me was like suddenly all of the doors in my head had been opened. It felt to me like I was suddenly open to all of my own feelings and I was suddenly connected to my own body. So I started listening to music and music sounded amazing. Everything I could hear 
sounded so much crisper and clearer and it was like I was really hearing it for the first time ever. So I listened to um, Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift because I went on the YouTube trending page and it was just there. And I was watching the video and it has all of these um, animals in it and it's actually filmed I think in Africa and I don't know if you know this but I was I lived in Africa for four years when I was a child and um, I suddenly got all connected to all of the emotional feelings I felt about living in Africa when I was a child and what it was like and what was going on was it was like all of the um, places I had suppressed trauma and sadness um, and slowly all of the little boxes where I'd kept all of the trauma were being opened up. So it was like, oh, self-love or like, oh, self-hatred. Let's open the self-hate and get all the self-hate out and, and foster some self-love. And um, and let's like think about your childhood and um, where you were raised and how that makes you feel. And that all came out. And it was like all of the emotional trauma that I had experienced in my life was being pulled out of me. And when you're on the shrooms and having that experience, for me, it was a very brilliant, good, positive experience. However, I, I can only imagine if you suppress very, very negative things sometimes, perhaps it might pull out something less enjoyable or um, I, I don't know what it will do to your brain. So I don't know, but that's what it did to me. So for me, it was a fantastically positive experience during the trip. It opened me up to my own feelings about things. Now, this is like over a year onwards from my shrooms trip. Obviously I've done shrooms since. I can feel in myself and in my mental state and my mind and the way I carry myself and the way my thoughts come out of my head. I can tell that that shrooms trip has had a permanent effect on the way that my brain works now. It's not a negative effect, but I would say that it was a very changing effect on me. What happened was it was like the door was opened and um, I suddenly connected with myself again. I listened to myself say that and I just think I sound like such a you know shit talking fucking bullshit hippie but that's not the case. I think I'm gonna touch a bit more on the visual side of it. M my vision was also obviously very affected so I was looking at this thing I was drawing and obviously this is what I was drawing and this is the kind of um thing that people associate with like tripping like it's like colourful and twisty and stuff but as I was drawing it I was really staring at it and um when I stare at it now sometimes when I talk about my experience with tripping um on shrooms I can look at something and I suddenly feel as though I'm still tripping. So I look at this and I suddenly remember what it was like to be in that place. Um, but yeah, the, phys the physical, so I was sort of looking, you know, you, I was looking at my hand and I was like staring at the palm of my hand and I was looking at it and I was realizing that shit, like I can see all the lines and all the pores. And I know that people do shrooms sometimes and they, they see rainbow patterns and things trip physically and move and shake and get smaller and bigger and I did have that and it is like oh gosh that's there oh shit wow okay oh my god that looks big but for me in my experience in my bedroom in a very comfortable place that I knew really well it was furnished with all my own belongings I didn't get too much of that like, things changing visuals and, and also please take everything I'm saying with a pinch of salt because I'm not um hugely experienced but I just wanted to tell you my experience and I like that my YouTube is a bit more candid and a bit more real than it was before so yeah I've done shrooms and I like drugs and I think they're very interesting um, and useful and something that should be seen as um, a tool particularly psychedelics. I would say go ahead and um, ask me things in the comments if I missed anything out I'm sure I did. I tried to be thorough and not like bullshitty and chat shit like I do in my previous videos because that is me but also this is me and there are different parts of my personality that I want to share with you guys and one of the deeper ones and the more like emotional um personal ones was this experience but um yeah if you'd like to see more videos about other trips I've had or any other thing that you want me to do let me know and I will do it for you I can't guarantee that I'll actually put on makeup um that time but this time I did so you're welcome Thanks for watching and um, thank you for being open-minded to my opinions about stuff. I will make another video soon, probably, or maybe I won't. Who knows? Love you guys. Bye!